do you need a fast computer to be able to live stream? Well, that's a good question. Do you know why? Because a lot of people have been commenting on my videos asking me about why their video feed is jittery or is jumping or the volume is not synced up with their video. The reason is your computer. So if you're using OBS or any type of program that needs the video feed recorded onto your device, then you need something capable. Because what will end up happening is you'll have, you'll have a computer that's not keeping up with what you're doing. Let me show you my screen quickly and show you what I mean by this. So right now I have opened Task Manager up. This gives me a list of all the processes running on my computer. You'll notice me running OBS Studio at the moment and recording this feed as a live kind of session. It's using up nearly 16% of my CPU. However, at the same time, it's using 11% of my GPU. GPU is a graphics uh, card that I've got on this computer. When I didn't have the graphics card, I used to use easily 40 or 50% of my main computer's CPU, central processing unit. So that GPU managed to lower the stress on my uh, CPU, which means that my computer is performing okay while I do these streams at 1080p because my computer is encoding these. So you'll see in this graph, the CPU is doing whatever it's doing. When I stop recording, it actually doesn't use a lot of the space because the computer is just running. So the main thing about computers is going to be if you're shopping around for a computer or you've got problems with your current live streaming setup, check how you're using your software. I did a video about the software and the differences, which I'll cover quickly now. If you're using OBS, it's using your computer's CPU and, and GPU to encode the video to record, if you're recording on the drive or uh, live streaming. If you're using a program like StreamYards, you don't have to have a fancy computer. You can actually edit, uh, stream through their servers via the website browser, which is less intensive on your computer. So does it matter what computer you have if you're live streaming? Yes, it matters greatly. If you're planning to do a quick live stream for like a teaching type thing or a course, you can go on to StreamYard's website, you can get the software free and use it as a free package. It'll have a watermark on there, there's some limitations there, but if you are serious about your setup and you want to do a gaming setup or a live stream regularly and you want to record it on your hard drive at the same time and have this fancy kind of looping effect that I've got going on at the moment where it's looping through scenes every 3, 5 and 15 seconds, I think I've got three ang angles set up, then you want to look at that. Because your computer will encode the video for you, it will set it up on, as a file on your computer which you can then either edit to add more effects on or upload to YouTube. What's the benefits of either way? I like to do it in OBS because I've got an uh, option to lower the amount of video editing I need to do because my video is ready to be used as soon as it's made. And it also, everything's just set up here. Yeah, I press a button and it's ready to go. If I use StreamYards, that is a similar thing, but I find it a bit limiting. And also you have to pay for one of the packages, uh, which is a basic package, about $20 a month or something. Not a lot of money. But if you've already got a dedicated system that you play computer games on and things, you're going to have a good uh, standing block to be able to live stream. But if you're having trouble with your live stream and it's not working in the way that I've shown in a lot of my videos, then look at StreamYards, try it and test it. And if you like it, then it might be an alternative for you than doing it the way I show it on OBS because I've got a different setup. I've got a dedicated desktop computer that I live stream from and then I have different devices. But I know a lot of my viewers have just the one device. They might have a tablet or a mobile phone. So they want to make the best of that, which is a good thing. If you want to create content, use what you already have. But if you get to a limitation, you need to weigh up and see, okay, am I serious about this? Should I invest in some gear or should I go down another route and pay for some software? Because sometimes if you want to carry on creating, you may have to pay for some gear to help you get your goal out there and get your stuff you're sharing out there. So I'm hoping this video helps you as part of this series. I'll link you to this video here next, which will talk about how to live stream and get you up and running in different ways. I'll see you on that video.